Hi everyone, welcome into Fence Talk. Yes, he's back from his honeymoon. How was the three weeks of joy? Yeah, it was nice and peaceful and uh, haven't seen a race course in about three and a half weeks, so real nice to be back. All right, let's talk about some of the performances since you've been back. Uh, uh, the headliner, of course, has been I Can Do's It. He's going to be amongst the greats, isn't he? Lyle Creek, take a moment, the great New Zealand trotters. He's the next one. Can you, on a level playing field, see him beating it all in the Road Cup? No, not really, Mark. Not the way he's going. Uh, there's going to have to be something go wrong for him to get beaten. But he's absolutely flying. And, of course, the Purden Payne team, the country's leading trainers, they took out the New South Wales derby to boot. And what a mighty performance by Smolder. How did he get beat on debut at Addington? <laughs> <laughs> I have asked Mark that before. Uh, look, his runs in all derbies, you know, the New Zealand derby he was parked and the northern derby he worked in at uh, New South Wales there. Menangle, he had to sit three wide and parked and just did a power of work, but he was still too good. It's just one of those horses that people were waiting for when he was trialling and going to the workouts. There was a super stable competition. Unraced horse was figured prominently in it and he hasn't let anybody down. He, he is a very, very good horse, as we know. All right, uh, smoking up the other night. Well, someone thought they'd got past him and got beat him on the line. Yeah, we, we like Moes and mullets here on uh, Fence Talk and that sort of thing. And we also like the premature celebration. And Josh Willick went off. Captain we're Joy. Yeah, he went off with Captain Joy and thought he'd won and the judges just blowing him apart, smoking up. You just can not get past him anyway. No, particularly there at uh, Manangle. What do you got coming up the week for you? You've got uh, a bit of Forbury Park action. Forbury Park on Thursday night. Only other trip to Forbury was to watch Union Buster make his debut and that lasted all of five seconds when he galloped away. So I'm sure Thursday night's going to be a far better trip than trip one to Forbury. What about lookalike? Uh, we've copped a little bit for the Daily Cherry Evans uh, one and Stevie Golding. What do you got this week? We've got one, a real one. Someone's emailed it in. You can get us at the box seat too and uh, Ricky May mm. and New Zealand music icon Chris Knox. So thanks to Matt from Wellington, he's come up with those two. And when the pictures appear on the screen, yeah, there's a bit of a resemblance there. All right, great to have you back uh, and looking forward to another wonderful week ahead in Harness Racing Wise. See you, Road Cup night.